Hello everyone, this is Eva, and you're watching Israeli startup channel, ISAP. So today, Sangam Tech is up, and we're with the CEO of Sangam Tech, Aaron Elboni. Could you please explain us about Sangam Tech? Okay, Sangam Tech is a young startup company from Tel Aviv. Um, what we do is we develop a platform for sharing information in the city, and basically uh, we allow all the stakeholders in the city uh, to get to engage with one another and also with the city and municipalities and, and utility companies uh, by gathering the data we provide each user with um, a city profile that contains uh, energy data, water data, gas data and all other uh, related information that you can get in the city parking, transportation, etc. Uh -huh. According to that, uh, you recently launched Smart City Project so, yeah. could you please explain more? Well, what, what we do, we, we, pro, we developed a, a platform called Lean City, uh, which is a, a social data sharing platform. And, and we go to uh, either small towns or big towns, it doesn't matter for us. Uh, and, and we provide the city with this uh, platform that they can give to their uh, residents. The residents can log in and then they decide uh, what type of information they want to share with the city. Uh, in what frequency, uh, what, uh, what uh, quality of information they can share with the city and the city can see uh, what's going on in real time. The platform is social. The information is information that you get from any smart devices uh, that you have in the city, whether it's uh, sensors, uh, cameras uh, or, or smart meters. Uh, or you can also upload uh, information manually. What makes it social is that you can share this information with whoever you decide with. Uh, you can do it with your neighbors, with your family, or of course with the city or the utility companies. Um, the fact that you can share this information, meaning that you can see today uh, what is your uh, consumption in compared to the average consumption in the building or in the neighborhood uh, or the region or the entire city. Uh, once you know what you're doing compared to the average, you start to think, okay, if I'm doing a little bit more, uh, let's say 10% more than the rest of the people, I say, no, something is wrong, because um, we're only, for example, two people in the flat, but there must be something wrong, maybe we have to look at it and we can, we can reduce the consumption. We can also compare it with other people that we know, uh, and say, okay, you know, I, I know that my, par my parents, for example, are two uh, older people, and it's, it's not possible that they will consume more than me. If they consume more than me, something is wrong. I can offer them uh, to try and cut their, uh, their use. Uh, we, we share, once we share the information, we can take decisions. Also for the city. If the city gets this information from everybody, they can take decisions based on that. Right now, they don't know what's going on, for example, in my house, or they don't know what's going on uh, in, in a factory. But once everybody will share this information, the city will be able to take decisions based on that. Mm -hmm. Is it about this um, poster that mm -hmm. you're... Well, this poster is goes, goes for a trade show that we're going actually tomorrow uh, in, in Europe. We're going to uh, present the, the product tomorrow in, uh, in Amsterdam. Um, the pilots we're doing right now uh, to, to show the proof of concept of our system are based on uh, one company, it's an infrastructure company that is going to do uh, uh, smart buildings uh, in Europe and then what we're doing there is we're connecting the residents in the buildings and they can uh, compare the information between them and then they can compare a building to another building and then we do so, sort of like a gamification so they can compete between the residents or they can compete between the buildings and that's how they cut the, their use uh, the other thing that we're doing now is, uh, is a project that we do uh, in an uh, uh, education system we connect about 85 kindergartens uh, and each manager or each uh, each lady there is going to have, they have they're going to have their own network, and they're going to see how much water they consume, uh, gas, electricity, and then they can take decisions based on that. Plus, we created uh, their own network. Wow! Yeah. I want to ask you target users because I see that it's like uh, for Europe, the part of smart city, city smart city, mm -hmm. and it's the kindergarten. So. How, now, how are you seeing your target? Yeah, it's a good question. You know, in a, in a, in a perfect world, uh, we would like that every person, wherever he is, will be able to, uh, uh, to sign up for our system 
and then share whatever information he wants, whether he wants to share um, his, uh, his idea about a, a city project, uh, about uh, if there is a parking spot near his house, or if he wants to report on a hazard, or if he wants to share his, his, uh, his energy consumption. If he's using, if he's producing energy, he can share, share information as well. I mean, he can, he can decide whatever uh, type of uh, city data he wants to share on this platform. Uh, so that, that would be the perfect uh, world for us. Uh, right now, the situation is that most of the people don't have any control over the data because it's either the utility or the city or some other company who, who implemented the, the devices in their house and they control the data. So I have to talk to the, these companies in order to have access to this uh, data. There's a big debate around it. Who owns the data? Because the people who implemented the, the system said, okay, we own it. And the people who, who produce the data, which is uh, normally the residents, I said maybe it's you know it's a, it's an issue of privacy. For us, we believe that it's a it's a win-win situation because if, if the people will provide information and the utilities or the city will use this information in order to improve the life in the city, everybody will be happy. So that's what we are trying to do with this uh, with this platform. So can you please tell us about the current market? Like how many users do you have? And how we just started. Happen? We're just releasing our beta. Um, uh, system right now and our beta version uh, and we are only working right now on pilots with, with uh, very selected uh, uh, environments okay so it's either with companies you as a as a user uh, perhaps next month you'll be able to log in but your communication will be only with uh, very very few people because we only work in networks right now in a later stage uh, we hope to be able to connect all these networks mm -hmm. so in terms of users, it's not relevant right now for us. Okay. Yes. So, uh, how did you come up with the name Sangamtek? Sangamtek. <laughs> uh, actually, Eli, the founder of the company, was uh, he was um, he was traveling in India, and and Sangam. I think don't yeah don't get me if I, if I'm wrong. Perhaps I'm wrong, but I think that's the concept. I am, it tra there's a place uh, called Sangam where the, like, a lot of rivers are connecting together and there's like an inner river that comes from, from below so it's a, it's a very energetic place and that, that relates to what we do. We believe that everything together can create uh, a really smart city. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow, okay. So um, can you tell us about the current financial stage? Uh, we are, in, we are in, a, in a seed stage right now. Uh, we we raised uh, money from uh, from angels, and uh, I think once and also we applied for uh, different um, uh, R and D programs in Europe and also in the, with the chief within the chief scientist program in uh, in Israel, and we're trying to raise money now from uh, from different angels and VCs as well. Yes. What is your business model? Well, the, as I said, the users are getting this as a service. Okay, the people who are actually using it are not paying for it. Uh, the business model comes from those who, who use the data, uh, which are the, the municipalities and also the utility infrastructure companies, because they need the data and or they offer it to you as a service. Uh, so they pay for it uh, uh, and as a service per month based on the, on the quality and the, and the quantity of this information. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Um, have you thought about also go penetrating the Asian market or Korean market? Uh, I personally really like this market. I've been many times in Korea and, and in China and Taiwan and uh, I really like this market. I think it's a very important market uh, in both uh, smart grid and smart, and smart cities in particular. Uh, I think the market, if you look at what's going on right now in the market, everything is shifting from, from the US where that we're the leaders uh, to Asia, I think Korea is one of the leaders in that sense. Uh, the only problem for us is an issue of uh, financing. Going to the Asian market, it's much more expensive than to going uh, than going next door to Europe. So in our stage, it would be smarter first to do uh, to do Europe, then to think about Asia. But there's no doubt that that uh, the, the Asian market is the is the most important market right now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, to, to summarize, is there anything you want to say? 
Uh, no, we would love to do so, we would love to do pilots in Korea, of course, uh, whether it's a you know big city or small towns, uh, and uh, and also do sort of like a collaboration with other companies or cooperations with companies who can uh, who can bring either data or uh, or devices to our uh, to our systems, and uh, and eventually we would like to connect, of course, the people to the to the system. Uh -huh. Yeah. Ah, oh, great. Yeah. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. Thank you very and, much. Uh, thank you so much for watching and see you next week. Thank bye you. bye. Bye.